Hey guys, welcome back. It's Darcy Castro from the magazine Lifestyle TV. Today I have with us an artist. So this is so cool. I love this. We're going to be talking to Brian Fox, the 2020 Sports Artist of the Year, painting the world's greatest legends. Um, Brian, I've looked at your website and your gallery and your work. It's stunning. And it's so much more than just sports artist, a sports work. So tell me, break this down for me. Tell me what you've done. Why, you know, how did you get into this? Well, thank, first of all, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it very much. It's, it, I, I really appreciate your kind words too. And um, how I got into this about, I always was into art as a kid, even as a kid way back. And I always worked in the commercial field. Mm -hmm. But about 15 years ago, on a literal leap of faith, I quit my full-time job with a wife, two kids and a mortgage and everything going on. And I thought I was going to do the freelancing in the commercial world. And that totally dried up overnight. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't have anything going on. I became instantly Mr. Mom and I didn't have any money anymore. And um, at that time in 2004, the Red Sox were kind of going up on their uh, trajectory of winning the World Series and beating the Yankees at Hoopla. Mm -hmm. And I, I kind of tied my wagon to uh, saying, hey, I want to help, you know, Kurt Schilling at the time, the bloody sock and all that craziness going on. I said, hey, can I um, donate a painting to your charity? And uh, they said, what? what are you talking about? I said, well, maybe if he signs it, it'll be worth a lot of money and you guys can keep it all and it'll raise money for your charity. And long story short, they win the World Series. They call me, they say, hey, can you do this painting? And um, that's kind of how I got started. And, and I wasn't planning on doing anything that you've seen of mine in the last 10 or 15 wow. years. I was, I was gonna be doing commercial t-shirts and stuff like that. So, you know, it, wow. the, ch the charity work kind of catapulted me in the direction that I'm in now. What an amazing leap of faith. And that it was charity that, you know, propelled your career in this new direction. That is really cool. And I got to say, Brian, I love me some socks. I'm sorry to the Yankee fans out there. I'm sorry. I've lived in both New York and uh, Boston, and uh, I have both hats, but <laughs> I do have the World Series lunchbox in the collection. <laughs> I love me some socks. And I love it that the socks kind of got your start. Uh, the diehard uh, Boston fans out there will appreciate that. Yeah. So, that's so cool. So uh, what an entrepreneurial spirit that must have taken, especially having a family and uh, taking that big leap of faith. Wow. Uh, what would you say to other folks out there that are kind of at that precipice? Because a lot of us are, times are changing, right? Where some of us are really rethinking our businesses or our work life and our careers. What would you say to somebody who's kind of having those thoughts on that ledge? I would say, well, everybody's born with an ability and a talent. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe they're born with that ability or talent by mistake. So finding a way to use it, um, you know, is a, is a good way of doing it. But practically, I mean, I'm married. I have a wife. I didn't try to convince her that I was going to do this. It was a, it was a team effort. Right. And she's an account, she's an accountant. So it's, she's not a flaky artist right. like me. Where it's, <laughs> if she's conservative. She's like, Hey, well, able. So, yeah. So she's, she wants to, you know, I didn't just do this. And, and then I had to think of my family. So we kind of did it together. It was a rough road, um, but it was worth it. And yeah, it is worth so it. Yeah, I have a, I've never worked harder but mm -hmm. it, it's been, it's been surreal, really. Yeah. You are so talented. You know, we've, during this interview, we're seeing some of your, your pieces that you've done and it just, it blows me away. Just really, really stunning. I mean, Jackie Robinson, Keith Richards, Michael Phelps, Muhammad Ali, Johnny Depp, Derek Jeter. I mean, the list is so long, Mark Wahlberg, Kevin Bacon, I didn't have enough paper space to write all this out. Like your celebrity profile is insane and your pictures with all your people and just totally surreal, I guess. Uh, I can imagine making that, you know, career shift. So what has it been like meeting these people? Like, what's it like uh, doing a commissioned piece for Pele? Pele, you did a series <laughs> for him. What was that like? It was very, I get, the best word is surreal because you find yourself in these situations that every day is different for work when I show up to work, it's a different day or you never know who's going to call. And, and sometimes it's, you know, major league baseball calls or major, or it's, it's a celebrity that calls, or sometimes it's a collector that has a connection with a, a celebrity or, Hey, look, we have a project we're working on or a business or a corporation. So mm -hmm. it's all this kind of mix and in, in, it's never one formula. So 
you find yourself in New York with Pele and you know, with a, with a client who brought me there and said, hey, look, we're gonna do eight paintings of Pele. And Pele's gonna sign them and you know, so it's, but again, you get to sit there and talk with him. And, and then even the Jackie Robinson, um, the painting I did was for the Jackie Robinson Foundation. Mm -hmm. and, you know, he's, he's passed away, but I, I was able to sit and have breakfast with his wife. I mean, that's sitting and talking to history. Yeah. I mean, because it's beyond baseball. It's mm -hmm. here you are getting stories right from his his what, Jack uh, Jackie's wife mm -hmm. Rachel about how she why she stopped going to baseball games because their entrance into the ball games were through a fence, a hole in the fence. Mm -hmm. it, it, you know that's history. So you you that it's beyond art. It's beyond different things. And then you want to help people more when you start to hear these stories. Right. You go, well, how can I help your, your mission, or how can, mm -hmm. can I help? your charity or, you know, I'm only an artist. What can I do to help? If I put something in your hands, maybe you can do better, you know, make, make a bigger impact. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that. Just that living history. And, and I noticed that some of these pieces too are available as prints uh, through the gallery yeah. on your website as well. Just yep. stunning pieces. I definitely encourage everybody to go to brianfox.com and check it out. It's brianfoxstudios.com and check it out. Uh, this stuff really is beautiful. You've done some veteran artwork pieces too that were that were just amazing. Were those commissioned for families? So the veteran, the first one I did was uh, based on the World War II veterans, the Band of Brothers, Major mm -hmm. Winters. So I did that to help raise money for a, 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 a monument that was nice. in Normandy. Mm -hmm. And then I worked directly with the with those World War II veterans. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys landed on D-Day. Again, you want to talk about history, a, a, an amazing story there. And then... I got commissioned to do um, something for the Vietnam uh, veterans, the in-country guys who were making a memorial wall here in Massachusetts, a permanent one, oh. just like in Washington. And they commissioned me to do this painting of uh, Vietnam soldiers. And all the money raised went towards the wall uh, being built. So but you, each time you get to sit down with these men and it's a history lesson. It's, be, it's beyond just entertainment or sports. This is something that's that's powerful, and and you you never leave these projects without being uh, fully impacted by these. Yeah, people. yeah, absolutely. What a privilege it sounds like too. Not many it, yeah. people have that kind of privilege in their in their daily work. That is really something. Um, so why do why do you make art? I mean, I know it's like it's a very intrinsic thing, but you know, why have you chosen to follow this passion? Uh, that's a that's a that's a really deep question. Uh, but I wasn't I wasn't good at I wasn't good at you know I like playing sports. I certainly wasn't good enough to go anywhere with that. But um, I wasn't good at school. I didn't do good in academics. I did, I did good in art and I did good in gym class. And you know my love for sports came for that. And I was always encouraged, um, you know, by your parents and as, as you get older, your peers mm -hmm. in, in art. So I constantly went in that direction because of encouragement. And, and that's all I really was good at. So I had to kind of find my way and, and do something with it. Love it, love it. You know, how can, so I'm a mom, I'm a mom of four. So how can parents like me, you know, that have young kids that show some talent, you know, there's that practical side to the parent brain that's like, you need to follow this specific track. You know, what, what should parents be doing? you know, or, you know, really any mentors to young people to be doing to encourage that, you know, obviously you've made this wonderful career out of your artistic talent. What can we do be doing to, uh, you know, open up those doors for kids in our lives? That's a, I, I go speak to schools a lot. And what I tell the kids are two things. And the teachers are in this same room with all these kids in an auditorium. And I'll, and I'll tell the teachers, I'll say, look, you know, my parents never told me to get a real job. So it, it, when you seek, think of music or you think of art or you think of sports, or you think of these different things, when the kids are young, we encourage them. We go, oh, this is great. We take them to, and we go, but then we go, t get, get a real job. And you, you, we kind of lie to them. At the same time, I tell the kids, your parents are just looking out for you. They love you. They care for you. They, they don't mean anything by it. But at the same time, there's always a happy medium. I mean, you have to find your way or give it a shot or give it a right. try right. at the same time with, with, you know, like back to the other point of we're all born with an ability and a talent, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. I mean, we don't know what we don't know, right. Outside of yeah. our own experience framework. <laughs> I mean, so how great to be able to learn from others that have made that big leap and are doing something, you know, a little non-traditional, but I love that. And, and again, I just think your work is so stunning and, um, 
we are actually going to get to feature that on the magazine. Our next issue is our live music edition. This is a specialty totally dedicated to the arts and music. And Brian, your piece is going to be featured on our cover. We're so oh, excited. So I know you don't want to give anything away because we are having a big reveal. We're actually launching this edition in Nashville wow. at Gavin DeGraw's Underground Club in Nashville on June 3rd. I'm so excited. I'm going to be there hosting. It's going to be epic. And you're going to be on the cover. So Without giving too much away, can you tell us a little bit about what we can expect to see on this uh, piece you're creating for us? Um, he's considered the bad boy of Boston and he sings a lot. Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I gotta get my issue. I love it. Yeah. And for those of you that haven't seen our magazine, let me see, I actually have a copy right here. Um, super glossy and gorgeous, like high quality. I mean, good writing. I'm in it. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm a writer for the magazine too, but super high quality. So this is going to look, your piece is going to look amazing on the cover of our magazine. I'm great, so excited. Great, great, great. Yeah. So Beautiful. excited. Brian, I can't thank you enough for your time today. It's just been a pleasure learning from you, from your experience outside the box. Boston, man out of my own heart. Love it. Thank you so much, Brian. Thanks for having me so much. This is great. Appreciate it. Hope you'll be back with us again soon. <laughs>